You like Persona. Yee. You like anime. Yee. So naturally, we like a Persona 3 anime. No, don't you understand what this could mean? With Atlas heavily promoting the game and a new cast of English voice actors, Persona, 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 we could finally get a Persona 3 anime with an English dub. And that's huge. I'm sure those of you that played the original or FES know how long we've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. And it's been a very, very long wait. I've been waiting for this. As Persona 3 Reload is the fastest selling game in Atlas history, I do believe it's only a matter of time, unless they hate making money or something. Welcome back, I'm Dusk, but you can call me Koala. Today we're going to go over the possibility of a Persona 3 Reload anime, and the very, very long road it has been to even get to this point. If you notice, Persona 3 Reload is everywhere. We're seeing G Fuel, MP3 players, figures, headphones, keycaps, and a PC case. And that's honestly a really good thing. Since the original game, the Persona brand has grown past the Shin Megami roots. Even in Japan, there is limited merch such as Audio Technica headphones with a special edition of the game, as well as only two figures, yes, only two one of Akihiko and one of the protagonists by Koto Bukia, each with an audio drama CD and connecting bases. The protagonist taking me almost a decade to find at a decent price, then sadly being sold. Eventually, we did get figmas of Aya Zemetis for FES, and a stupid rare Rikari figure later on. But for the time, that was pretty much it. Also, all of the merchandise was practically non-existent in the US. The only thing you could find was the game, until the announcement of Persona Trinity Soul, finally a Persona anime, that barely had anything to do with the characters in the P3 game. There was an adult Akihiko, I remember not really liking the anime, as it didn't have the exciting elements or music that the game was known for, so it didn't really feel like Persona, or at least the games. At the time on the western side, you could easily find FES on the PS2 at a discounted price, which helped a lot of people take a chance to play the game. Now let's skip ahead to Portable. In the year 2009, 2010 for the US, a Persona 3 port was released, Persona 3 Portable for the PSP. While the game had an entire storyline for a female MC and newer models, only the dungeon crawling remained the same. That's like removing half of the game. But at least the pre-order bonus with the Junpei hat. Still, the experience wasn't anywhere close to the previous entries. You can't walk around with your hands in your pockets, which is my biggest problem with the game. So those that never got to play the PS2 games missed out on so much. Running around in an environment is a huge part of Persona's identity. That's why games like Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, or Sonic Adventure are fondly remembered. And instead, you got to be a dot on a rendered background. And new players wouldn't be able to play in these environments till reload. Even then, that's still a huge gap of time. But a necessary amount of time for things to progress. Sadly, this would be one of the only available options for new players to play the game. So, you know, a few months ago. With Persona 4's release in 2008, Persona 4 The Golden, or Golden in the US, an enhanced version was set to release for the PlayStation Vita in 2012. What better way to reintroduce these PlayStation 2 characters than an anime? Yes, the original game was on PS2, the PS3 was released in 2006, so keep that in mind. And anime adaptations of popular games are pretty common practice in Japan. Think American toy lines getting their own Saturday morning cartoons to sell product. Junest. With Persona 4 the animation from Studio AIC coming out in 2011, and it had an English dub that featured the cast of the game, with two Reese cast for Chi and Teddy, who would also voice the characters in the upcoming Golden dub. And there are a few reasons why fans see this anime as a good adaptation. Oh man, this hurts too much not to be real. I think I busted my ass. I'm so surprised. Spanning 26 episodes, the story covers the whole game, and includes scenes of some of the choices a player can make in their playthrough. Saver. The music is also kept intact, which really helps keep the feel of the game. It's like watching the same scenarios play out just in the anime, giving it a very fresh but familiar feel. 
But the best thing about the adaptation is that the series uses the art style for Persona character designer Shigenori Soejima. I should probably make a full video on this anime, but it was really great to see the characters in anime form without having to replay the game. Yukiko, don't apologize! It makes me look bad! And I would watch this even if you haven't played P4 yet. Unless you're in the US as it's unavailable to stream for some reason, causing DVD copies to skyrocket in price. When at one point you could find them on clearance for $8. Ah! What the hell? You cracked the disc, you tool? How could you do this to my trial of the dragon? So we got an anime of four, but then something interesting happened. <laughs> The Persona 3 movies were a bit of a surprise at the time, as Portable was already out and there was no new P3 game to promote. It felt a bit too late, and maybe that was the case. The only thing people assumed at the time was a remake of FES, because they released 4 movies. Even considering the storyline of Persona 3, that's a bit excessive, but maybe it's what Atlas wanted to do the whole time. With well, the first movie being Spring of Birth, also being produced by AIC who did the previously mentioned Persona 4 anime. Number 2, Midsummer Night's Dream. Number 3, Falling Down. And number 4, Winter of Rebirth, being produced by A1 Pictures. And it's important to note that A1 Pictures is a subsidiary of Sony's animation firm Aniplex because of how Aniplex handles its US releases. These movies were huge being released in theaters across Japan from 2013 to 2016. US releases were planned as they were sold on the Aniplex USA website with special editions costing about $100 and no English dub. It's something that does save on costs, but because people are so used to hearing the English voices in such a long game, it was a bit unexpected, as Persona 4 anime did have a dub. And the set also came with commentary that didn't have any English subtitles, neither did any of the bonus content. It's like Aniplex did the bare minimum for this release. And this actually isn't the first time they did this kind of lackluster release for an anime. It's one of those anime that will never get an official dub because of how the release was handled. And it's kind of sad that we didn't get to see the English cast reprise their roles in full anime films, as they did dub the Persona Key games around the same time. If I happen to find the right guy someday, getting married might not be so terrible or something. Who cares? That's horrible! I can't believe you said that! And I didn't tell you this, but on YouTube there is an absolute phenomenal English fan dub on Kirimaru's channel. Here it is! Welcome to Gekukan High School! Hope you like it! For being a fan project, they did a really good job, and somehow they dubbed the whole movie. Go and watch it because it's as close as we'll get to seeing one of those films in English. Now let's skip to 2024 for Reload. On February 2nd, 2024, Persona 3 finally got a remake as Persona 3 Reload was released on multiple platforms. And with the new game, we got new animation. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekku Khan High School. I hope you like it. While a lot of the story was animated in the in-game engine, the anime cutscenes were animated by one of the biggest studios in the industry today, Wit Studio, known for anime like Spy X Family and Attack on Titan and an upcoming One Piece remake. This is huge. There is already an established relationship with one of the biggest anime studios, and it's very likely that Atlas will continue to work with Wit Studio if they pursued an anime adaptation, and I'm hoping this will be the direction they decide to take the series, along with the promos that featured the English voice cast before the game was released. My name is Alex Lee, and I play the protagonist in Persona 3 Reload. Get ready! I do think that we'll see a Persona 3 Reload anime in the future, because you know, it'll help keep the series relevant and some more games. Until Persona 6, that is. But do you think Atlas will release a reload anime? Or do you hate the idea of a new anime? While I don't agree with that opinion, I'd like to know why. So let me know in the comments. My Persona video from a year ago did not age well. Thanks, Atlas. Just by remaking the episode, I guess we already know the outcome. Still hoping for a new true ending, though. Like in Catherine. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, go ahead and like the video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you're already subscribed, hi. While you're here, pitch some of the shorts. They're pretty fun to watch and a lot of work goes into them. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. This took way too long to come out. I went from my most productive month to my least productive. <laughs>
It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again.